Hey, it's Matt from McGee Farms and got into the winter time now. Had a pretty good first year with the garden here, but I think we're gonna revamp a few things. We made a few mistakes that uh, I think I'm gonna try to try to fix, but also uh, in the winter time, we're gonna try some uh, cold weather vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, uh, some of that. And uh, with doing that, I've got some PVC pipes that I'm going to cut down, and I have these brackets right here that uh, I'm going to use. And I'm going to make some hoops for these, and with making the hoops, we're going to put some uh, clear plastic over it too, and just keep it a little bit warmer, because this is a pretty, you know, colder, colder climate here in northeastern Missouri. And uh, we'll see how the winter garden goes, so uh, first off, I'm going to mount these on the sides and then I'm going to cut these uh, this half inch uh, schedule 40 pipe down and make some make some hoops so I got the first one in and mounted and this is uh, 31 inches wide and so I cut it at six foot and I think I probably probably would have been okay at five foot I think with the, if I do the other bed, I'm gonna go at five foot, just because the PVC is 10 foot, and that way I can use uh, two sections for each pipe, rather than having to waste four foot of it. But uh, I've got, got that in. It really wasn't too bad bending and getting it in, especially being chilly out here. I was afraid the cold might make it a little hard to get in. So I'm gonna get the rest of them. Gonna do another, I think I'm going to try three on here, see how that works. I might have to come back and do four per eight-foot bed. And, uh, of course, the lovely thing, putting these brackets in, I just uh, cleaned out the horse stall and brought the uh, leftovers down here. So uh, now I'm getting to work in that. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a uh, good free fertilizer, so I can't complain. So I'm gonna start putting the rest of these brackets in and get the rest of the hoops done. So I've got a couple of the hoops up right now. It's an eight foot section. I'm gonna try with three, see if that's strong enough. I may have to come back and put a fourth one in as well. Uh, I've went ahead and I planted some winter vegetables in here. I've got some carrots, I've got some lettuce, I've got some broccoli, green onions. Uh, I think that's all I got in right now the winter vegetables that's about the only ones we've really we really eat i mean we don't eat kale we don't eat cabbage so uh so figure we'll try it i bought some uh plastic at uh, home depot i don't know how it's going to hold up or not it's a 3.5 mil just clear uh, plastic sheeting for like a painter's drop cloth. So I'm getting ready to put it on. I'm just going to staple it down to the uh, top boards, see if that's going to hold it or if uh, the wind's just going to rip that off and I'm going to have to put some little, tack some little boards on top of it. So we'll see. I'm getting ready to do that now and I'll show you the finished product here in just a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, enjoy some goats. All right, so I've got it down in there, and what I uh, kind of did, I'm going to work on a little more, is on the sides where I have the uh, these trellises that I made out of the cattle panels. I'm kind of working them in there to kind of help, help hold them down in, in there. And uh, I took a staple gun. I went around on this side and just stapled it down really good. Over here, I... Uh, I kind of bunched it up and tied it all together. Uh, probably going to have to tie it down just a little bit better. But uh, I got thinking, I'm like, and I did staple it down in there. But when I got over here, I got thinking, I'm going to have to get in there some way to harvest them and then plant more. So what I did is I found a, a one by 2 that I had that had been sitting in the barn forever. And I wrapped the plastic sheeting up with the one by two and uh and rolled it up till it got to about where the edge is and then i used the staple gun to kind of staple it down as well 
And by doing that, that should hopefully hold it. It's going to sit on there. And uh, hopefully that'll keep it from going up. And then whenever I want in there, you know, I, can, I can get in there a little bit. I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit. But we're going to try this out, see how it goes. I've got the uh, other one over there that I'm going to do the same thing with. And uh, I've got on the end down here, we're going to expand it out. I've got some 10 foot two by fours. Uh, we're going to go down a little more, put some more arches, uh, trellises, whatever you want to call them. Uh, put a few more of these in because it worked really good. We just didn't have enough space. And so I'm getting ready to start in on that. So it's Matt from McGee Farms. Hope you enjoy the uh, gardening videos as much as I do and the other stuff around the farm that we do. If you like the videos, give us thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. It helps the channel grow and it's always appreciated. Till next time, have a great day.